All right, y'all. So this is part two. Go back to part one to catch back up on what this mature man said to this divine masculine. We're going to go ahead and already because the emphasis is on the board, okay? And so where I left off at is basically, you know, I feel like this main male, right? Concern is if this is going to fail. This is why they're scared to take some type of risk here. And this mature man is like, you love this person, then stop overanalyzing it and take action. So what is this main male saying back to this mature man? They've been contemplating it. Contemplating. And the strength card comes out, right? The four cups and the strength card. So, yeah, pretty much. They've been contemplating trying to get answers for real. You know, trying to find the confidence to be able to do it. Why aren't they feeling so confident? Why don't they have the confidence to do it? Three of Pentacles in a reverse. Elaborate on that. Knight of Cups in reverse. Because they disappointed you or the Empress, whoever's playing the role of the Empress, this main male, I'm Mongo well just freaking divine masculine energy, right? This main male has uh disappointed the Empress because they 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 haven't been working with the Empress cohesively let's just put it that way it's been a lot of conflict um now not just between them two but just period because even with this three of uh pinnacles that's three people on that card right so it got to be some type of third party situations and this masculine is feeling like you know i ain't been such a good teammate right i don't i haven't been playing well with the empress right to be honest they fumbled the empress they fumbled the empress literally been full of empty promises Okay, trying to avoid the conflict, feelings running hot and cold. So they know for a fact that's like they've caused or created this situation and it's like now they're in this energy of just it's a lot of anxiety, like will it actually work? You know, I, will I mess up again? You know, the, that's the energy I'm pulling through. Tell me about the concern card. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles comes out in the reverse. So again, I feel like that's that uh maybe one of the karmic situations they may have created for themselves coming through tell me about the queen of pentacles reverse this masculine energy is concerned about some type of queen of pentacles reverse this person definitely could be very um insecure or selfish or the chariot card or uh self-absorbed in some kind of way and it's like yeah that's what it's been this could be anybody y'all okay this don't even if you may think it's one person it could be somebody totally different y'all it could be several people operating in their life with that queen of pentacles reverse energy and it's like whoever this person is this person could also be very jealous like this is a materialistic person they usually are in the relationships in relationships or deal with people for the wrong reasons is only for their own selfish desires right whatever it is that they need and it's like in order for this masculine to be able to move forward from this situation i got the chariot card that comes out right it's going to take them some determination to overcome this so whatever happened to them too you know whether this is past whether it's it just freaking yesterday right today <laughs> It's going to require, again, with that Knight of Swords energy, sheer determination. Like, they're going to have to really, like, go towards their goals regardless of whatever that challenge may be. And it appears that this may be the challenge. Eight of Cups in the reverse position. So this is why this person hasn't really been, you know, moving forward. They've been staying in these bad relationships or these um, with these karmic connections because of fear. That's where the stagnation has come from. It's like they're not satisfied with the situations, but they just aren't taking as necessary steps to let go, right?
And so for some odd reason, this is concerning this person a whole lot. Oh, reason being five of pentacles because they left you out in the cold. It's like everything that y'all going through these hard times is literally because of the situations that this person has created. But I feel like the universe is showing this masculine some things about themselves. Again, like I said, they're going through some type of rebirth. Okay. A, a, a ego death is what I'm hearing. Helping them to see the truth about themselves. Yep, the King of Pentacles in reverse, helping them to see that this is who they are, right? They was matching that Queen of Pentacles reverse energy, both in it for their own personal gain. You understand? Both, um, yeah, in that greedy energy. So let's move on from that, right? Because I don't want to keep honing in on the negative aspect of it. Let's go and just shift the energy real quick and just go with a power of love oracle card because apparently this person does love you. They see a future with you. They want to, you know, plan this future with you. They're being advised to do so by an older gentleman. Wow. Integrity. I feel like that's where the feminine of my collective had been. Like standing staying in their integrity and their freedom. Yes, yeah, standing in their integrity, respect, and then the freedom card comes out. Okay, because you, if you are the empress, hey, you divine feminine energy. It's like, nah. You can't fumble the empress. This is a circumstance here where you know, it takes a lot of alignment um, and a lot of work and the work to become that empress energy. The empress is like a freaking goddess, y'all. <laughs> okay. And so when you get to this point, you, you start to realize there's certain things that you can't even align yourself with. The universe is not even going to allow you to do that. Like if it's not a vibrational match, it got to go. Okay. And by the empress demonstrating the truth and the honesty of her or his so this is how now the empress is manifesting this love or manifesting her divine counterpart or his divine counterpart back in okay there's a lot of self-imposed restrictions that are being released whatever these perceived limitations are are being released by being open okay and this is what i'm seeing it's like now i'm seeing that this uh, this empress and masculine energy are now an energetic match. And on this path to love, it's like you guys are respecting each other's unique perspectives. So don't Weigh yourself down with other people's opinions or expectations. Set these expectations to be yourself and allow yourself to love who you allow yourself to love who you show the world, who you show to the world. OK, so allow yourself to love who you show to the world. That makes sense. OK. Get out of that habit. All right. Of worrying about what other people think or their expectations. I feel like a lot this masculine really really does worry about what people feel or think and puts on this mask or this false face in order to feel accepted i also feel like the empress was doing the same thing but the empress is now in this energy like oh no that's doing me a disservice it's doing me a disservice to my mission especially as the empress the empress is most like most definitely helping other people to rise up to a higher level of consciousness so just embrace your freedom to be you because that's it. Anything else is giving your power away. And this is what you guys I'm feeling like is being taught in this particular cycle is to be you, to remember who you are, whatever the indifferences may be, honor yourself, okay? 
that's it, y'all. So.